Wrestling Entertainment! Gentlemen, here we are with another exciting episode of Ida B TV. We're starting this show off a little bit of junior weight action as we have the debut of Elite Terrell. But at this time, we're set to ringside with some words from the captain and Elite Terrell. All right, we are now on deck with the captain. For those of you here in Brewer, Maine, and for the viewers on Fox 22 Bangor, you might not know him yet. But after tonight, I guarantee you, you will never forget the Elite Terrell! All right, ladies and gentlemen, Elite Terrell is here and ready to show you guys exactly what I can bring to the table. I'm here to make a statement, and I'm ready to show it to you guys. Ready to turn up! You guys ready to turn up? Folks, Elite Terrell here making his debut in action, but he's not the only one looking to make their debut here on IWTV. TV. We're gonna go out back here with a slight interview with the new tag team to the IWTV, the Towers of Pain. I am being joined right now by a brand new tag team to the IWE, the Towers of Pain. And let me tell you something, they're so new, I don't even know their names. So I'm gonna let them introduce themselves. I am Sebastian Kelly. And this is Plunkett the Ogre, and we are the Towers of Pain. We are the biggest and the baddest tag team in IWE. And we are going to lay waste to the entire tag team division. We're going to win the tag team championships because not outlaws, not mutts, not even bombs can bring down towers. Strong words from the Towers of Pain. Look to make an impact here very soon in the IWE. Or speaking of impact, here we go, as we have our Junior Weight Champion, the criminal Aiden Andrews, is being accompanied by Mark Mahoney to ringside. And he's gonna take on the debuting Elite Terrell. Elite Terrell looking to, looking to make an impact here, and hopefully capture in his debut matchup, the Junior Weight Championship of the IWE. Can you do it, folks? We don't know. We're about to watch and find out. It's sure to be an interesting bout, folks. Don't go anywhere. You're not going to miss any of this action, folks. It's going to be great, intense, fast action that only the Junior Weight Division can offer here in the IWE. We've seen many other Junior Weights making an impact uh, on our previous episodes. That former, we saw that four-weight junior match just uh, a week or so back. And then, we, you know, we've seen so many others, such as uh, Levi Lexington, who beat uh, Big Moxie, Matt Mahoney, uh, a few weeks back there as well. So there's a lot of junior weights making their name here in the IWE. And that's not all, too. We also saw a new main state champion crowned last week here on IWE TV. New tag champions crowned. Things are happening here in the IWE, folks. Don't miss a second of it. Watch us every week, Saturdays at noon on Fox 22. You're not going to miss it. Great IWE wrestling action. Also, if you do end up missing an episode, you can catch us on our own personal YouTube channel online at IW Maine on YouTube. And also for more up-to-date information on events and of course anything pertaining to the IW, visit us at our Twitter and Facebook at IW Maine or on our website www.iwrestlinge.com. All right now we're going to take it to ringside here as Chris Barry holds up the Junior Way Championship here as this matchup is going to get underway relatively quickly here. And oh here we go Elite Terrell going right after Aiden Andrews is going to bring the belt out to ringside. 
He gets on the attack here. Elite Terrell viciously attacking Aiden Andrews as he eats that ring post. This match is getting abruptly started, but Aiden Andrews wasting some time, and obviously Elite Terrell a little irritated here. Elite Terrell going right in after him, going after the champ, trying to make sure to keep the champ down and take advantage of this situation. He's going right to work on Aiden Andrews. Big shots now. Oh, has him rocked in the ropes here. What are we going to see here? Shoots him off. Big shoulder tap from Elite Terrell. Just wipes out Aiden Andrews. Terrell dancing and jiving in front of Aiden Andrews here. Wasting some time. Oh, scoots out of the leapfrog. Hits a shuffle sidekick to the midsection, Aiden Andrews. And now a side headlock being applied. Terrell trying to break down Aiden Andrews here. Aiden Andrews, you see a little bit of pain from that side headlock, trying to gain his composure. Shoves Elite Terrell back in the rope, sends him off, and catches him with a hip toss. Elite Terrell going for the ride, and now a big chop across the chest. And now up he goes, and down with a body slam. Aiden Andrews in control here. Mark Mahoney's watching on from ringside, cheering on Aiden Andrews. Mark Mahoney's kind of like a little, little buddy, I guess. Oh, two count there from Chris Berry on that uh, that pinfall attempt. Aiden Andrews is still early. You got to work on him, buddy, if you're hoping to win this matchup. Elite Terrell making an impressive debut here so far. Oh, but he's a calf kick from his troubles from Aiden Andrews. Elite Terrell going outside, trying to take a timeout. There are no timeouts in wrestling. He's trying to get a breather. As he's walking away here from Aiden Andrews, trying to get himself some composure here on the outside. Aiden Andrews looks like though he's going right out after him. Coming out and Terrell saw him coming, going around the corner. It's Terrell and Aiden Andrews right on his heels. Here we go, you see Aiden Andrews coming right after Terrell. Terrell slides into the bottom. Oh, but gets Andrews a kick to the face as he tries to get in the ring. Repeated stops now. And now just dragging Andrews into the ring. Andrews now getting pinned. One, no, just barely a two count there. Terrell going right on top of Aiden Andrews. The big shots to the face. Pounding away at Aiden Andrews so he does not get up. And Terrell arguing with the referee says he's got to count to five. And now uh, Elite Terrell taunting in and uh, obviously wasting time here with these fans. Playing off to these fans right here, and Aiden Andrews still down on the mat. You see him starting to move. Elite Terrell picking him up here by the head. And oh, big shots to the midsection now. Aiden Andrews trying to fight back. And a clubbing blow from Elite Terrell takes down Aiden Andrews. And now, oh, knee to the back and a chin lock being applied. Aiden Andrews is feeling this one, folks. I'm not sure what he's going to be able to do right now. He seems to be in the world of hurt here. You see Chris Berry asking Aiden Andrews if he wants to quit, and Aiden Andrews saying, "No, no, no, I'm not. He's not wanting to win, the, not wanting to lose the title that way, and with a chin lock." Aiden Andrews trying to hold on here, trying not to give up. As Elite Terrell has that cinched in, his fans watching on as Aiden Andrews trying, looks like he's trying to get up to his feet here. He's up to a knee, now up to his feet. Elite Terrell kicks him, shoves him off, but a reversal from Aiden Andrews. Oh, black flip out of that one. Oh, rolls through, does Andrews. Andrews catches him with a drop kick. Down goes Terrell over the pin. One, two, no. What an impressive showing there by both men. Terrell, Terrell looking to whip off Andrews there. Andrews reversed it. Went for the back body drop, but Terrell bat rack rolled through, tried to go for a schoolboy, rolled through to Andrews, hit that big drop kick. Ooh, and now he's delivering a big knee. One, two, no. Impressive showing by both men in this matchup. Andrews, though, not letting his title slip away here as Terrell is trying to pull himself up in the corner. And now, but Andrews to his feet first. Terrell still sitting in the turnbuckle here. That's not a good place to be with Andrews on his feet. Andrews charges in with a running knee. Oh, but knees the turnbuckle for his own troubles. And our leads are out with a big shot. Now rocket Andrews in the corner with those kicks, trying to keep him back in the corner here. Terrell whips it, Andrews charges in. Oh, clotheslined him and follows through and lands on the apron. Up on the top rope, diving back elbow, takes out Andrews as he folds up like an accordion. The man is down here. Elite Terrell needs to capitalize here. It looks like he's calling for the, like he's going to finish him off here. Can we see a new junior weight champion right here? Oh, leg across the back of the neck. One, two. Oh, I thought he had him with that one. And Elite Terrell thought it was over too. 
Elite Terrell thought he had the junior weight championship one in his debut, and he he was so close yet so far. Now obviously aggravated, taking it out on Aiden Andrews, repeated shots to the face. Terrell obviously upset off the ropes here. Coming off, what's he gonna do here? Oh, he's doing the Carlton! And, oh, twisting elbow drop! Going for a pin once again. One, two, no! Aiden Andrews once again pulling it out last minute. And Mark Mahoney cheering on Andrews at ringside, trying to get these fans involved, trying to get them behind the Junior A champion. Aiden Andrews had an impressive showing as of late as Junior A champion, holding on to the title for some time here. Elite Terrell, though, has been close on numerous occasions to putting him out. Oh, Andrews driving him in the buckle. Not as hard as he was hoping, but he has him in there. Now, shoulder thrust to the midsection, keeping Terrell in the corner. He's going to do here. Looks like he's going to whip the man off. Sends him in the opposite buckle. Oh, he got him in there. Charges in. Big clothesline in the corner. What's Andrews doing here? Setting him up. What's he going for here? Kick to the face. Terrell does not know where he is. Drop kick sends him out to the apron. Terrell's been knocked out to the apron. What's gonna happen here? He's getting picked up. Andrews getting, has him hooked here. He's going for his patented DDT. Plant Terrell. Terrell is out. Andrews is climbing up top. We know what's next, folks. He's setting him up for the frog splash. One, two, and three. Folks, your winner and still IW Junior Weight Champion, the criminal Aiden Andrews as he topples a very, very, very impressive Elite Terrell in this matchup, folks. Got to give it up to Elite Terrell for going out there. And he uh, he almost pulled it out on numerous occasions, but the champion retains here. And, folks, your champion still, Aiden Andrews. Folks, this is so much great. More action coming your way. Don't go anywhere. This is going to be a great episode of IW TV still to come. A six-person intergender tag team matchup in our main event. Don't miss it. Folks, a quick reminder, on Friday, June 3rd, the IDP returns to Fairfield, Maine at the Fairfield Community Center. Doors open at 7 p.m. with a 7.30 bell time. Tickets are on sale at Joseph Sporting Goods at Water for only $10 for ringside seats and $8 for general mission. Folks, don't miss IDP action coming to Fairfield. Well, all your favorite stars got to be, including Fox Vineyard, Aftershock, Adam Ricker, The Bomb Squad, The Party Central Outlaws, and so many more. Folks, don't miss it. We hope to see you there. Don't also, don't forget, the very next night, Saturday, June 4th, in Brewer, Maine, at City Side Restaurant, that be returned. Stores open at 7 p.m. with 7.30 bell time. Tickets on sale at the venue at City Side Restaurant in Brewer. Only $10 for ringside seats and $8 for general mission. Come out and see all the stars that be, including Aftershock, Adam Ricker, Fox Vineyard, and so many more. It's going to be a great night of IDB wrestling action as we return to Fairfield and Brewer. Don't miss it, folks. I hope to see you there. All right, folks, we're back down at ringside, folks. We're getting ready for this six-person intergender tag match. It's definitely a first for the IDB here on IDB TV, folks. You're going to love this. As it's six-person, meaning it's one tag team and one female wrestler on each side of the, of the teams. And here's our first team, the five-star spectacle. It's Keela Rose, obviously being managed by Honest Eight here in this matchup. They're going to take on the party central outlaws with Sarah D'Erico. But at this time, folks, we're going to send to the back for one of our many, many junior weights in our IDB locker room and also a member of the IDB Compound Wrestling School. Long live Lee Eli Lexington and chance some comments to make about our current junior weight champ. I was supposed to be the 2016 King of New England. I was pretty sure I was going to win. I even volunteered to go in at number one, and everything was going great right up until the junior weight champion, Aiden Andrews. He pulled a fast one on me, and next thing I knew, I was eliminated from the match. Now, I was pretty mad about this, but I saw an opportunity in it. So, I went right to the IWE offices, and I demanded for this match that's going to be on TV next week, Fox 22, right here. It's gonna be me, Levi Lexington, versus Aiden Andrews for the Junior Weight Championship. You took that from me, so I'm gonna take your title from you. See you out there, champ. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here. Levi Lexington feeling he was gypped out of the King of New England due to Aiden Andrews, which leads us to our Junior Weight Championship matchup next week here 
on IWTV as it will be the criminal Aiden Andrews defending against long live Levi and Lexington folks. That's sure to be a great matchup, don't miss it. But also don't miss our main event here as we have the Party Central Outlaws and Sarah D'Erico coming out ringside for this six person intergender tag team bout. But I mean, holding my heads up, we're actually gonna send them back to the champion, the criminal Aiden Andrews as he had some words for Levi Lexington. Next week on Fox 22, IWE TV, I defend the IWE Junior Weight Championship against Levi Lexington. I beat everybody there is so far. Levi, bring it on. Long live the Junior Weight Champ. Very straight to the point is Aiden Andrews as he's taking on next week. Long live Levi Lexington in a Junior Weight Championship bout. Folks, that you're not going to miss. But this is also a matchup you're not going to miss. Right here is our main event of this episode is it will be a six person intergender tag team bout. Now folks, the rules of this are simple. The males can only fight the males and the females can only fight the females. Because obviously it would not be right if the females had to fight males. It would just not, it'd be very one, like one-sided and very obviously awkward to watch. So with these six person intergender tag matches, women can only fight the women and men can only fight the men. And of course, if a woman tags out and the male comes in, the other female in the matchup must tag out as well. So, very simple rules, folks. Let's see if anybody abides by them with that arm drag from Tequila Rose. Oh, and another arm drag putting down Sarah Dierico. This is certainly a first here on IDB TV. A six-person intergender tag match. The males can only fight the males, and the females can only fight the females, folks. But right now, we see Sarah Dierico and Tequila Rose going at it as the females are starting off here with some women's action. And you see there an arm wrench, and you got that wrist lock now being applied here by, by Tequila Rose and Sarah Dierico. Now going behind the back of Sarah Dierico. Sarah Dierico trying to grab at the head of Tequila Rose here. Let's see if Sarah Dierico can slide out of this one. And she did. She goes right around the back of Tequila Rose. You see both male teams watching on. The Party Central Outlaws in the five-star spectacle. This is definitely an interesting type of bout, folks. Um, I, I'm obviously, I'm intrigued on how this match is going to go. But right now, we're watching it here. Sarah Dierico is taking control of this matchup. Sending off Tequila Rose. Tequila Rose takes that hip toss. And then a big clothesline putting down Tequila Rose. Sarah D'Erica in control here. She's in the corner. Comes out with a drop kick. Knocking down Tequila Rose. Tequila Rose is down. You hear the five-star spectacle. And Honest Abe cheering on Tequila Rose here. Sarah D'Erica going for the pin. One, two, a kick out. And Tequila Rose makes the tag to the spectacular JC of the five-star spectacle. The five-star spectacle is, of course, five-star chase and the spectacular JC, folks. And the spectacular JC is a man, monster of a man. He is big. He's obviously gonna go somewhere in this business. He's a big boy. He's obviously got the size advantage over Mikey, who has been tagged in. But Mikey using his quickness and now putting the man down with a drop toe hold and put him in a side headlock, trying to keep him on the mat. That's the best thing you do with five uh, with the five star spectacle here. Try to keep him on the mat. They're two big guys, especially spectacular JC here. He's firing away shots on Mikey, sending Mikey off. Mikey ducks the line, ducks the back elbow. Mikey comes off the ropes with his own line, putting down JC. Going for a pin now. One. Oh, and a kick out, really quick, by JC. You see tag team, uh, tag team cohesiveness here by the Party Central Outlaws as J-Rock makes the tag to Mikey, and they're coming in. Looks like a little, little tag team action here on the, the uh, spectacular JC. Back elbows by both men, puts down JC. Now a pin, one, only at one count. Still too early in the matchup to put down JC. JC though, oh, knee lift to the midsection. Makes it tagged the five star Jace. Oh, ducking the line does J Rock, but delivers a forearm to the face. Putting the man in the corner, charging in, big forearm shot. Five star Jace is rocking. He falls down like a tree in the woods. And here we go, going for a pin one. No, still too early. Five star Jace is fresh man in. So obviously it's way too early to get a pin there, but. Good idea by uh, J-Rock, and a big body slam now going right back to Mikey, tagging big quick tags there from the Party Central Outlaws. Obviously that cohesiveness showing here. Going for, oh, a tag team leg drop, but nobody home, and J-Rock accidentally dropped there Mikey. Mikey ate the mat there back first, now getting dumped by Five Star Jace. Five Star Jace now left all alone with Mikey, and that's not good for Mikey. As that weight's getting dropped right across the back, and Mikey's down on the mat, and all oh, utter disrespect by Five Star Jace as JC comes in off the tag. Oh, big stomp by JC, and another one. JC putting Mikey down, keeping him down on the mat. On his honest Abe, 
at ringside just berating the man as he's been beaten by Jace. J-Rock back in the corner there with Sarah D'Erico. You see that? Mikey trying to make the tag, but the side's coming into play, and that strength advantage as J.C. drives Mikey in the corner. Not once, but twice, and now a third time. Has him in the corner, makes the tag to five-star Jace. Five-star Jace coming in here. Let me see some tag team action by the five-star spectacle. Reverse whip. Oh, splash in the corner. Feet out. Big boot to the birds. Down goes Mikey. I think he's out. Referee might need to check him. This man's unconscious. Five-star Jace going for a cocky pin. Oh, barely a kick out though by Mikey. Mikey might have just woke up right at the end of that big boot. What a big boot that was. That, and Mikey's head's probably somewhere in left field somewhere. Oh, a shot to the face. And another one. Oh, yeah, Mikey's been rocked. You can tell he does not know where he is. Jace even shaking his hand there. You see how that's a hard he hit the man. And Mikey fighting back. Must be an instinct there just to fight back against Jace. Jace, though, reversing the whip. Comes and goes for a line, hooks him. Oh, backbreaker puts down Mikey. Mikey in a world of hurt here. Mikey had a little bit of offense. Had almost a second win for a moment. And no, kick out off that pin. Five-star Jace thought almost that was over. Going for another pin. Two again. Five-star Jace obviously looking at Chris Berry with disdain in his eyes. He thinks this match is over. One, two, and now the ropes. And you see five-star Jace obviously upset. This ain't gonna work. You gotta go back to work on the man. Here you go, five-star Jace picking up Mikey. This thing's gonna tag in JC. The spectacular JC coming in here. Mikey trying to fight back, but JC pummels him down. JC, the biggest man in the matchup here, is picking up Mikey now. What are we gonna see here? Mikey getting whipped into the buckle. JC about to go on the attack. Oh, Mikey charges in. Oh, nobody home. Mikey do by the way, trying to make a tag, but oh, gets cut down by a boot to the face by JC. And he shoves J-Rock. And there, Chris Berry stopping J-Rock from coming in. He's not the lingo man. Being antagonized there by JC. Smart wrestling by the five-star spectacle. Trying to keep uh, trying to keep the team at wit's end here. And you see here now, five-star Jace, the legal man, in with Mikey. Goes for the line. Mikey ducks it, catches him. Jawbreaker! JC does not know where he is. He's down. Mikey's down, and he's closer to his buckle than he normally has in this whole matchup. If he could just roll over and get the tag, that's what he needs right now. He was so close earlier when JC punted him in the head. But this time, Jace tries to stop and he pushes Chase off and he makes the tag to Sarah D'Erico and Tequila Rose is in. The women are in now. Oh, big clothesline. Tequila Rose goes down. Big back elbow, Sarah D'Erico. Off the ropes, cross body block. Whoa, JC in to break the pin. Now this is, he's got the count of five to get out. If he does not get out right now, or this could be a disqualification. Chris Berry leading on the code here. J-Rock in. J-Rock, oh, shot to the face. Looks like the men are going at it now. Oh, utter chaos has ensued. It's five-star Jason Mike here now going at it as well. I don't think Chris Berry knows what to do at this point. It's both males, uh, both male teams are going at it here. Reversal of the whip. Oh, meeting of the minds with the five-star spectacle. And JC and Chase are going out to the floor now. And the party central was right after them. The women are the legal men in this matchup. Chris Berry allowing that to go on now that both women are still in the ring. This match is going to continue on. Oh, ducking the line to Sarah DeGarago, and she puts her in the sleeper. She's putting Tequila Rose out. Tequila Rose is tapping out, but the referee does not see it. As, you see there, Tequila Rose tapped twice. Honest Abe distracting the referee. And you see Sarah DeGarago complaining about Honest Abe and needing Barry to turn around. Tequila Rose taking advantage of the roll-up. One, two, three. They steal one. Tequila Rose using the distraction by Honest Abe to get the win. As Honest Abe with his five-star spectacle and Tequila Rose pick out a big win over the Party Central Outlaws and Sarah D'Erico. Sarah D'Erico had this match won. He had her in the sleeper. She saw, I saw her at least tap two or three times. Referee did not see it, folks, which just costed the Party Central Outlaws and Sarah D'Erico the matchup. I cannot believe it here. You see five-star Jason Honest Abe arguing with the fans. The fans obviously saw what happened as Sarah D'Erico and the Party Central Outlaws were robbed in this matchup. Party Central Outlaws in a world of pain here as they're coming back to ringside to check on Sarah D'Erico. Sarah D'Erico in the ring, pretty obviously distraught, but the five-star spectacle and Tequila Rose pick up a big win here in their debut tag team battle on IWTV.
But uh, I'm, I'm being told we are going to try to get an interview here with Sarah Erico on the Party Central Outlaws. Because obviously Sarah Erico is rather upset here. They had this match won. She's very obviously frustrated. I think the captain is going to try to get some words here as they are about to leave ringside here. So um, hold on, stay with us, folks. As I guess we're going to go down to ringside with the captain as we're going to have the Party Central Outlaws and Sarah Erico on deck with the captain. This is a very rare treat, folks, that we have these happen back to back in an episode. We saw Elite Terrell earlier do his on deck, and now we're going to have one with the Party Central Isle of Sarah D'Erico. So, Captain, I'm just going to send it down to you, buddy. Take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on deck with the Captain, and I'm being joined right now by the Party Central Outlaws. And you just lost, and, and I saw that, but I was not expecting a loss like that. And just from what I saw, it was all her fault. They cheated! My fault? Yeah. It was my fault? Yeah. She tapped! Where the hell were you two? I got kicked in the we face! Yeah, you're just leaving me in there to take care of business and you bail on me? Ah, At least you stay home! Well, there you have it, folks. We just saw, I think, the demise of Sarah D'Erico and the Party Central Outlaws. Party Central Outlaws are not happy with Sarah D'Erico, and she's not happy with them either. But, folks, quick reminder, on Friday, June 3rd, the IDB returns to Fairfield, Maine at the Fairfield Community Center. Doors open at 7 p.m. with a 7.30 bell time. Tickets on sale at Joseph Sporting Goods in Waterville and at the door on the day of the event. Only $10 for ringside seats and $8 for general admission. Come out and see all the stars of the IDB, including the Party Central Outlaws, Fox Vineyard, Aftershock, Adam Ricker, Levi Lexington, and so many more. Also, folks, on Saturday, June 4th, had to be returned to Brewer, Maine at Cityside Restaurant. Doors open at 7 p.m. with a 7.30 bell time. Tickets on sale at the venue, Cityside Restaurant, in Brewer. Only $10 for ringside and $8 for general mission, folks. Don't miss all the IDB actions. We're coming back to Brewers. It's going to be a great night of wrestling. Come out and see all the stars. Also, folks, don't forget, next week here on IDB TV, the IDB Junior Way Championship is on the line as the criminal Aiden Andrews defends against long-lived Levi Lexington.